What's up guys, Phoenix here. This video is going to be another Dev Pro Duel video in Ranked, and this time I'm playing with the Amorphage deck again because, Jesus Christ, I cannot seem to win a single game with this deck, and I don't want to say that I'm going to like keep playing the deck until I win a game with it because we might be here a while, but I do want to keep giving the deck a chance in the aspect of, like, one, I still haven't played the Cosmo matchup yet, so like I need to get that for film, so I might as well keep playing the the deck anyway because the Cosmo matchup is arguably one of the better matchups question mark simply because you can just lock the entire deck out with gluttony and stuff like that uh, but then again like you see how that went in the previous video when playing against Burning Abyss where gluttony is also just as good so uh, there is that to consider also I just haven't really gotten the deck functioning on any sort of actual physical plane in any of these videos so I feel like I have to keep playing the deck until I get the deck actually into a method to work or like not a method into a situation where it's actually functioning on like basically full cylinders just so it's like demonstrable into like what I mean where I say that like the deck does just steamroll advantage when it is functioning properly even though it does take a long time to set that up but regardless I've had a few people ask me questions on why I'm not playing cards like ties of brethren and stuff like that and the question is answered very very easily by that is an OCG exclusive if in case you couldn't tell, like the entire deck here is meant to be TCG legal. That's why I'm playing it ranked. That's what I'm testing right now. There's no real point in testing OCG concepts like Ties of Brethren when I'm trying to look at this deck from a competitive standpoint of what can this do in our current metagame. Everyone that keeps suggesting all these OCG concepts, that's great. That's fine and dandy, but you got to understand that that's not the focus of the main bulk of what I do with my videos. I try to focus on what we can do right now in the TCG and what the deck could do in terms of like forming an impact in the game or not. And that's ultimately where we're standing right here. Now there are, again, multiple variations to what you could play in this deck, but ultimately I think that anything other than just going pure just kind of really dilutes the options that the deck does have because Anything that you know you do to add better cards into the deck is going to be adding different pendulum monsters, and most of them are going to be actually conflicting with the deck's overall strat of just floodgating your opponent out. But anyway, there's there's more things to explore in the future. But as of right now, this is just the build I'm playing. It's the build I played for the last two videos, so we're just gonna jump straight into the first game because there's no reason for you to be explaining this much when I've already done like two other videos on this that went up in the past couple of days. All right, so the only reason I feel obligated to play this deck again is because like. I haven't resolved Infection in any of the games that I've filmed. Like, I've added it to my hand once, I've literally seen it once, and then it got shuffled away by an Erebus. So I feel very obligated to try and resolve Infection in at least one of these videos because when you resolve Persona or Infection, which I've resolved neither of, by the way, um, like the deck actually at least starts functioning well in the, aspe in the aspect of like you actually start getting two things. Okay, cool. And I get to go first. Savage! Alright. Well, let's see. Um, I definitely don't want to put Greed up. Um, but I think I have to, simply because it's like... Like, it's doesn't have stats. <laughs> Shit. Alright, so I'm going to put Greed here. This is the no tribute one, so this is easily the better one to put here. Because of the fact that like I could be playing against Monarchs or something. But the fact that he's sitting here waiting for the like entirety of a decade. Thinking about me playing Greed in my scale... It just immediately makes me think that he's playing Cyframes, which is uh, actually not that hard of a matchup, honestly. You just get to Gluttony, and then Gluttony just wins you the match. Like, it's actually really easy. It's really simple. Um, very, very, very much so. So if I'm playing at Cyframes right now, I would welcome it. I would welcome it with open arms. I'm expecting to see an Alpha right here. Come on. Oh, damn it. All right, well... What we have here is we have no traps, which means it's like the weakest one. If I had Lechery here or Gluttony, it would be great, but Greed here is really, really terrible in the essence of... Ooh, Cosmos. All right. I can deal with this. Uh, I'm, I'm okay with this. He one Rock, Paper, Scissors. He told me to go second. Or told me to go first, rather. He's got a tin can. Okay, so he's literally going to be taking his sweet-ass time doing his plays, which I can respect. I'm okay with that. I'm actually very glad, <laughs> because as long as I don't give him Dark Destroyer off this tin can, then I'm going to be able to tribute this draw card. Oh, well, never mind. He's actually making plays. 
He's already normal summon Tin Can, and he's going to go ahead and use its ability to tag out. I find this a little bit strange, but uh, if he has Dark Destroyer, he gets to do Dark Destroyer, pop it, go into Straw Man, which, I mean, there is that play. Now, that play is very much a very, very good play. So, uh, that might be what he's doing. It is. Please, please make the proper play and go into Straw Man. Please do it. Or are you going to pop my monster? You're popping my monster. That's so not right. That's so not correct. What the fuck? <laughs> what the hell, man? Oh, I've reached that point in the night where I just literally just gonna shit talk on people. Alright, so what I get here is that uh, I believe I just want Gluttony. Uh, simply because I can draw a few more low scales. Where's Gluttony? Where is he? There he is. Because uh, this will die. Sad. Sad face. But, uh, like, yeah. You should have popped yourself, got Strongman, got this back, you float into another tin can. You have two pilots, you get a tin can search. I'm so confused as to why you didn't at least wait until the end phase and do this. I mean, you want to punch me for 3,000, which I can respect, but, like, still, I'm confused. I'm confused at this point. At this point in time, I am confused because I don't think it was right to do that. Because that was going away during my turn anyway. Unless he just wanted this to die, too. But, like, I, I guess I can see his point. Like, it... And you were going to kill it in battle anyway. So why did you actually pop it? These are all the questions I have. <laughs> you had so many better options. You could have gone... Popped this, gone into Slip Rider. And Slip Rider popped my Persona. Or popped my Infection. And then attacked over the Wrath. You could have dealt with two cards. I'm so confused. I'm literally dying here. I'm dying to my own confusion. You attacked me, and why is it waiting? There it is. Why are you waiting? Is my question. Do you have an e -tele? Do you have an e -tele for Farm Girl? Can you just kill me? <laughs> Please. Please just kill me. Please validate every single one of your thought processes and none of my own. Please. There's only one card left in your hand. Oh my god. There was one card left in his hand that he didn't shuffle back. And I was like, please, for the love of God, be, um, be, uh, what's your things? Let's see, this, uh, what is this? This is, it gains 300 attack and defense. So this would go up to 2150. This gains 100 attack and defense for each more phase card on the field. So this would go to, uh, this would be 1, 2, 3, or no, it'd be, yeah, it'd be 3, so it would gain another 300, so it would go to, like, 26, and then this would go down by 3, which means it'd be 27. Sad. Um, alright, well, so, there's no real way for me to preserve this in my hand, I've just gotta hope that he doesn't kill me. Yeah, I, I had to draw another monster there. I need to hope he doesn't kill me. I'm resolving Infection, I'm resolving Persona, but the deck is still just shit. Oh no. Oh dear. Please don't kill me. Please don't kill me, Massa. I'll be good next time, I promise. No. Don't do it. After making the incorrect plays, he's probably going to be rewarded because his deck is better than mine. And that is why I don't like Yu-Gi-Oh. <laughs> is that when you make mistakes, you should be punished for them. But that's not the case. Decks are just so much better than other decks that you just don't get punished for mistakes uh, depending on what your matchup is like that's actually just so sad there was once a point in Yu-Gi-Oh where like it didn't matter what deck you were playing if your opponent messed up you had a chance you had an open window you could you could potentially win the game but now as it stands uh, not quite so much so yeah I'm a little upset because now I'm literally behind another turn because I have to draw another monster one, I have to draw another monster. Two, the monster has to be an appropriate scale. Three, I have to pendulum summon and then wait another turn because of Lilis and Persona being able to trigger. So, yeah, this is just this is just problematic for me in all sorts and shapes and functions. Um, so he's just gonna punch me for another three K, which I'm going to activate Lissus so that I at least like take twenty eight. If it's gonna let me activate it, I'm sitting here holding down A. Like I've been, ho there we go. Um, like it, I was like, it should definitely let me activate it. So I'm gonna activate this just so I take less damage because that's actually relevant. 
But otherwise, hmm. Well, I do like the like fact that these cards, Infection and Lissus, like they uh, they cause you to be able to get over threats that you normally wouldn't be able to get over. Like this Dark Destroyer is just gonna start getting smaller and smaller, and my monsters are gonna start getting bigger and bigger the more cards I put out. And that is something that I actually really enjoy. The fact that you can get up to like 2,000 attack point boosts. Um, like I've had these guys that are at zero attack come out onto the board and have like 2,200 attack based off the cards that are on the field and stuff. They're like double infection and stuff like that. Like that's very much a possibility. But it just uh, it gets hard dealing with threats. And that's something that I don't enjoy. So now you're going to use your tank cam. Which is something that you could have done a lot sooner. But I digress. So, what does he reveal here, and what do I need to not give him, is the question that next comes to mind, because I'm still a turn behind, so it's still going to be a problem. That's the thing, is that no matter what I give him, I'm still one turn behind, and I still have to draw a relevant monster, and that, that fact has not changed. <laughs> Very much so, has not changed. Um, what I can do is that if I draw a monster, though, I'll be able to activate Gluttony, and I'll be able to summon the... Uh, the Wrath and attack that. Okay, Dark Destroyer, Forerunner, Slip Rider. So I honestly probably want to give him Slip Rider. And I probably gave him Dark Destroyer. I did! <laughs> Damn. Gave him the D Destroyer. Oh no. Uh, that's a duality. That's awful. Um, well, what I get to do here is that I can duality grab the biggest monster I can see with my eyes, play Gluttony in my scale, summon the monster, attack over that, and then I potentially don't die the next turn. Potentially? Maybe? Who knows? He's got a lot of cards in hand, and he's like been doing a whole lot of nothing. So, we'll see what happens. But if I get a monster off of this that's summonable, um, like, you know, one that wasn't any of these, why could I have not gotten, like, Wrath? Or, uh, or Pride? Like, the only four I got was Envy. Ugh. But Envy is 2050. Which means that if I put Gluttony in the scale, well, he'll still be able to activate. Um, he'll still be able to activate his thing. I just gotta hope that he doesn't kill me next turn. I've got to hope, without a shadow of a doubt, that he doesn't kill me because I've got to summon this lechery. We've got to activate this because that locks his effects down um, and also makes his Dark Destroyer smaller. And then I get to normal summon this and attack over his Tin Can. And so if he doesn't tag out here, I get to normal summon and then its effect is already active. So. We'll just see what happens. All right, cool. Normal summon. All right, so it's 2,050, so it's huge. I get to attack over the tin can, and then from here, he has to have another small pilot like farm girl in order to kill me. Another tin can won't cut it. Uh, he's had he has to have a sword trooper. Well, even sword trooper would sword trooper do it? Um, the sword trooper would be really small. I think it has to be farm girl or one of the ones that's bigger than 15. Uh, to be completely honest with you. I just don't want to do the math. The math is really complicated right now because of all these things having things and like they'll cha their values will change because of uh, because of Lechery leaving the board. That's another thing that's gonna suck is that Lechery is gonna get killed in battle which means I'm gonna search for this and this is gonna die getting me a thing. So actually like it actually kinda works but I'm gonna have to search my scale, my monster you have to search my monster before I search, uh, before I draw for turn, meaning that I could just draw the wrong, uh, the wrong scale. So that's another issue. This persona is still not going to get to activate. <laughs> uh, well then, but I could still just die this turn. I really just hope that I do. Like I, I want this game to end. I want this sorrow of mine to be, uh, to be fulfilled. <laughs> of this Amorphage deck just not being good enough. Everything else is just a cut above it, because this deck doesn't have any real consistency, and it's really slow to start. All that nonsense. Farm Girl, look at you! Look at the one card I said he needed to win! There it is. Oh. Well, yep, that's over. It's it. That's it. He gets to attack with the Dark Destroyer, kill my Lechery. I don't have anything like Pendulum Reborn to protect my ass or Scapegoat, because I drew two of the Field Spell. Um, strangely enough. There's only three of it in the deck, and I almost never see it, but then when I do see it, I see two of it. That's, I find that odd. Why is this person taking so long to think of what he wants to do? Why? It's so simple. You attack. You attack. You attack. It's all your deck does right now. You attack. Attack me. 
Attack me, please. 100%. Swing. Attack it. E-Telly. <laughs> Why? You have multiple farm girl out access abilities then. Do you play more than one farm girl? That'd be sav. That'd be sav if you did. There's no point to E-Telly here, though. Because if you bring out Sword Trooper, you can't get back Tin Can because of gluttony. Like, this is so agitating to me. I'm about ready to just hit this button just to not give him the satisfaction because he's pissing me off in the, as in the, in the aspect of he's taking so long for his turn. But the thing is, is that, like, oh my god, the timer went up so hard. So hard, so fast. Um, if his timer runs down, then I possibly get to win this game. <laughs> That's the thing. You know what? I'm going to be a dick. I'm going to start activating the A button. I'm going to start, you know, trying to check the field, throwing him off so his timer starts running down. Because he'll be like, uh, waiting. Danger Will Robinson, waiting. Um, Jesus Christ, he has taken an entire two minutes of, or whatever this timer is, to think out his plays. What's going on here? This is stupid. No, I don't want to check the field. This is so stupid. This is so stupid. He just didn't do anything for his turn. This is so stupid. Why? What is going on here? What is happening? Tell me what is happening here, please. I would love to know. Okay, so if I get another infection, can I kill his Dark Destroyer? Um, so I can normal summon this. Uh, let's see, if I get another infection, each one goes up by 200. Uh, this one was at 2,500. It'd be one, two, it'd be one, two, three, four, five. Um, plus the 300 from that. Uh, I don't think it's big enough. Uh, but the Dark Destroyer was at 26 before, meaning if I get out, um, Envy, I'll be able to do that. Um, uh, so kind of upset. But, uh, what I'll do here is that I'll just get... Yeah, I can definitely kill over it. Never mind. So, this... I shouldn't be playing this game anymore because my opponent literally took his entire two-minute clock to do zero actions. So, this video is already just lost any credibility it could have ever had. That's the first issue. Second issue is that now... Oh my god, he has a Dark Destroyer in his hand. I almost forgot. I need to normal summon this. I need to normal summon it quickly. Quickly! Yes. All right. <laughs> All right, so now what we'll do is we'll oh, I got two of them in the extra deck now. All right, well that just makes the the number get bigger of things that I have. So that's twenty eight fifty, and this is this, and that dark destroyer is now tiny. The dark destroyer is twenty three. There's no reason I should be winning this game in any form or function. I hope you guys understand this, but this is ranked. This actually goes towards my score, so I'm gonna take it. He didn't want to make a play on his turn. He literally spent two minutes and normal summoned a farm girl and activated an E-Telly. What the actual hell? That's my question. What the actual hell? He didn't attack. He didn't do anything. He just sat there thinking about his play when all he had to do was attack and he had game. <laughs> and this doesn't float anymore because that's a gluttony. Wow. This is awkward. This is so awkward. This is so odd. I don't understand what's happening here. I could still get Raigeki. I could still get. I could still get Raigeki. Uh, Raigeki, like monstered, for game. Uh, very, very much so. I could still easily just get Raigeki out. So let's not forget that. But as it stands, I'll just take this game. If he's gonna give it to me, I'm gonna take it. There's no reason why I shouldn't, right? Why? <laughs> what is going on? <laughs> I'm not. I'm not in the right state of mind to be able to process this right now. What in the world is happening? Now you're setting cards. I have the trap negator up, so that's either not going to be activatable or it's going to be something I don't care about, like a, like an e-telly, another one. <sighs> because this is going to stay up. Well, actually, I'm going to just let it die and go into uh, into another copy of Greed, just so that I have another copy in the extra deck, and then I'm going to tribute to draw to. So I'm going to just keep amassing more monsters. Why is this happening? You don't understand how mind-blown I am right now. I, words, human words, are not enough for me to comprehend why Mr. Pingaku did not just attack for game when he literally had game. 
I'm so confused. I don't know what's happening. I want to bet that he normal summons this tin can again. If he normal summons this tin can, we know for a fact that he just doesn't want to read. We know. We will know for 100% fact that he just does not want to read. There's absolutely no reason why I should be in this position in the game. I should not have won. I should not be close to winning. I acknowledge this. So before anyone in the comments says, you shouldn't have won that game, a tr a trust, trust me, fellow duelist, I know. I am very aware. In fact, I'm probably the most aware one here. Because he, I was literally saying in my head how he had game. Multiple times. I was saying in the video how he had game. I, I know I talk a lot of shit in some of these videos, but this one's inexcusable. This one, I can't, he had a Dark Destroyer. Um, like... He never used it. Hey, yeah, yeah, I know that I catch flack in quite a few of these videos for talking shit up on some things, but this one, this one's inexcusable. He literally had game and he decided, nah, I don't want to. <laughs> I'm gonna activate e telly and wait for 30 seconds. <laughs> Why? Why was that? Why was that a thing? So he's playing multiple Cosmo towns, trying to draw into like an out, I guess, Regeki. Come on. Raigeki me, you sav. Do it. Raigeki would absolutely be a kick in the dick here because, well, I would still get to search and I'd have a proper scale. So there's that. But, like, I will, I'm going to just draw two next turn, get a search, all these things. Another one of these. That's pretty good. Um, tribute monster? Yes. I will definitely. I'll tribute this. I get to draw a card. Do I want to activate this? Yes, I do. Yes, I do. Uh, where is Wrath? Or is Pride the biggest one? Pride is the biggest one, but Pride will not be bigger than just getting a second infection. Because that'll boost everything. Tribute Monster? No. This? Yes. I will definitely activate this here. Put another Greed. Oh, where's the other Greed? Oh, did I go through them all already? How? Where? What? When? Why? Alright, well, it doesn't actually matter, but still, like, where? Where is it? <laughs> um, I'll just put, uh, I'll just put this here. Really? Did I go through all of them? No, there's two. Where's the third one? I know I play three. Where's the third one? At least I think I play three. It's like a really good card. Thought I played three. Turns out I probably just don't. Oh. Huh. Oh, well. Who cares? Not me. I drew multiple cards. Um, so there's that. I get to special summon now. So if that's a solemn strike, then I guess he's a sav, but otherwise, um, otherwise I think it's just fine. Um, oh, I should have tributed this because I, I just instinctively tributed the lechery. Oh my god, is that a strike? Is it a strike? Is it a strike, buddy? Do you have the strike? Come on, show it to me. Show me- Ah, you have the strike. Ha ha ha. Ah, you poor bitch. Alright, well, I used to get the normal summon this and tribute it away to pop his monster now, so. Well, no I don't, because this is a fucking gluttony. <laughs> I keep forgetting that gluttony's there. <laughs> yeah, I keep forgetting. I keep forgetting about big man gluttony. But this makes this huge. There's that. 3150. Fucking swole. Alright. So as it stands... Uh, I can just attack him. I'm just gonna attack with this. I don't know what this is. This has 200 attack though. So, 300. Okay. On honest. Alright. Honest would have also been an out to everything here. Um, uh, at least potentially. I'm gonna poke him with that young 200 though. Can't believe. I, I forgot that I only played two greed. I could have swore I played, I could have sworn that I played three of this card because it's really good. Turns out. I probably just don't. I think... Well, actually, no. I think I did cut it to two specifically because you can access, you can access it so easily with, uh, like, Lissus and Infection. And the third never comes up as an actual need. I think that's why it's at two. Pretty sure that's why it's at two. Now that I think about it. But still. That's inexcusable. <laughs> it's inexcusable. Um... The fact that I just let it die when I didn't need to. 
And then I tributed Lechery off. If I didn't tribute Lechery off, I just had game here. Well, actually, no, I didn't, because this would have still been striked. So there's that. Uh, reasoning, the only card I'm afraid of is Dark Destroyer. And I'm not even afraid of Dark Destroyer. Slip Rider. Ah, well, that doesn't get to activate its monster effect, and it's going to be tiny as shit, so... Okay. And, because, like, the only thing, the only reason that I'd be afraid of Dark Destroyer is the fact that, like, it could potentially punch over this for game. Because, yeah, I could flip this and make it still go down by more. Very much so. But, like, it would still potentially be high enough? I don't know. Let's see. It's 100 for each of Morphage cards. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So, it would go down 1,600 total. Um, so I'd be punched for 14 over 0. So yeah, I wouldn't have been game. So there's no reason for me to be afraid of Dark Destroyer either. Um, so there's that. Now this entire, this entire game is absolutely ridiculous. Why is this 23 minutes long? Why have I been playing this game for 23 minutes? That's not even the length of the video. The video is going to be longer because it's got the little deck thing at the beginning of it. That's going to be like a solid minute. Like, <laughs> why? Why is this game not over? Oh, what's happening? I bet you don't even attack my Archfiend Eccentric. You're just setting cards. Stop that. End of main phase. Battle phase. Okay, good. He's doing it. He's gonna get it. I'm gonna flip this, though. I definitely want to take less damage, because I got punched by that Dark Destroyer twice really early. Um, like, even the fact... Yep, 0 and 900. Now I get to get a search off of this, which is kind of cool, kind of okay. Um, the issue is that if these are strikes, then that becomes a potential issue. But actually it's not, so I'm just be able to search for uh, for pride and like normal summon it, and then that's game. So yeah, that seems pretty alright in retrospect. Because, let's see. Do I even, do I care? Do I just want to let my scales die? I think I just might want to let the scales die. Uh, just to keep this here. Well, let's see. No, I've got more scales. So, yeah, I can let pride die. And then this will play something there, which will also die. Uh, do I want to attribute the monster? Yes. That'll draw. I get to use this to search. Like, the advantage gets really strong with this deck, but as you see, I'm on turn 11, and I should have lost this game, realistically, about four turns ago, if he had just attacked me. So... That's the issue. That's another reason why I just don't like playing this deck on camera, though, is that when it, does, when it does function, it's very, very slow and methodical. So it does take roughly 30 minutes. Uh, so otherwise, you know what? I'm just going to get another one of these. I've got all the monsters that I want in my hand in terms of scales. I've got a five. I've got a couple threes. Uh, we'll just get another infection. We'll just play it. Yes. We will use this. Because this will be putting something in my scale and then it will die and then it'll die again well I'll play my new scale and then it'll keep dying so there's that uh, so I'll just put another pride here because pride is you know best one best one EU uh, so what we'll do here is that we will activate what is this five yep so we need to put the three in the scale so we'll put the three in the scale and then we'll pendulum summon here See if he strikes it. If he has strike, woo. If not, even if he does have strike, I get to normal summon and punch. Uh, because this will be huge because of the third infection. All these things are going to be great. He's taking his sweet time. He, man, these videos are going to be really long. These videos are long, but he certainly is not helping. Uh, most definitely not. Whoa, I do not want to pendulum the one from hand. Because if that gets striked, <laughs> game over, man. Um... So we'll summon this, we'll summon this, and we'll summon this. Got the strike? Hope you do. Gotta have it. Or else this is just 100% the most game that you could probably ever see out of this Amorphage deck. Although, these things do get beefy. I have to say, <laughs> these things do get incredibly huge. Uh, these things get so, so massive. In terms of what they can get attack point ceiling wise. I mean, look, he's down at. This thing is down at 500, and I'm gonna make it like 3. <laughs> it's gonna be 300 by the time I'm done. So I'm gonna normal summon this and activate infection, so that's gonna be two more Amorphage cards. So it's gonna be 200, and then this is gonna boost everything by another 100 for every Amorphage card, which that's 5, 
uh, 10, 11. So, like, wow. Okay, so you cause Mojo here, so you've got to cause Mojo this, or else you don't float. So, uh, broken. So, yeah, what are you going to cause Mojo? Because you have to cause Mojo the gluttony away, or else you have no effect. Because then you won't be able to float into a monster, and then this just punches you for game anyway. Really? Really now? You just didn't want to. Okay. I, I see. I see it. I see the plays. Not really, but gotta gotta at least pretend like it, right? So we'll activate this. <laughs> we'll normal summon pride. These things are gonna get massive. Massive. 4,750. And they're about to go into the 5k range. 5k 50. Let's go. <laughs> Let's go. This deck's still terrible, though. Because I should have lost about 15 minutes ago. <laughs> I should have lost this game 15 minutes ago. And he left. Alright. Okay. So we're going to call that here. Uh, this video is odd. And I know I could possibly get, like, destroyed for the fact that I just sat here and talked shit for the last, like, 10 minutes. But you got to understand, he had game on board and decided to fuck around and then not do anything in the end of this turn. And then I just won. Like, come on now. Cannot. You cannot. Like, you cannot expect me to not talk shit about that. Like, it's so terrible. Like, how do you let that happen? But anyway, that's going to be it this video. As always, guys, thanks for watching. Like, comment, subscribe to all the nonsense you usually do. Links are in the description of my Facebook and Twitch links. If you want to suggest a deck for me to play in these videos, send a deck list to my Facebook fan page. Send it to me in a message form. And if it piques my interest, if it catches my eye, if it's something I like, any of those, I'll potentially play it for one of these videos. And you'll be able to see what my thought processes on it are. But other than that, if you want to support me, clicking ads on my videos is the best way to do so. And it's the, you know, it really helps me out a lot. And it would be really cool of you guys if that's something you could take the few seconds out of your day to do. To just click an ad and just be done with it. It'd be really awesome. But other than that, as always guys, thanks for watching. And as always guys, take care. I'm going to go wash myself clean of this one.